by readers. We're going to read some nonfiction um, from Time for Kids. And the topic of this magazine is underwater photography. Uh, the title of the magazine, or this issue, I mean, is Dive In. I'm going to share that with you now. And as I'm sharing it, I want you to think about if um, you have ever used a camera. Maybe you've used um, a parent's phone and you've taken pictures that way. Um, some lucky parents have phones that can go underwater and take pictures, not a lot of them. Um, maybe you've used uh, like an old fashioned camera. I say that now with film and um, you know, it's a device that can only be used to take pictures. That's what I mean by old fashioned camera. And um, if you have taken pictures, what do you like to take pictures of? Your family? Or um, maybe you like to take pictures of your pets? Um, maybe you like to take pictures of um, just really interesting, cool things in your yard. You know, plants, flowers, um, bugs, I don't know. If, if you haven't taken a picture before, um, maybe you might try that over this extended break. It might be something fun to experiment with. Of course, you have to ask permission first. And um, I'll get now to our magazine. Um, the topic of the magazine is a photographer who takes pictures of animals underwater. So this person cares about these animals so much and wants to share them with people. And so this is his job. We learn about these animals from a photographer like him. Um, he obviously works with other people. I think they have to keep each other safe because this does seem like it could be dangerous. They probably have a lot of equipment involved in this. Um, they've got their oxygen tanks, flippers. What else do you notice? Wetsuits, masks, goggles. And they probably, well, not probably, they would have um, come out to where these animals live um, in a boat. And so that has all kinds of equipment involved too. Um, this magazine kind of builds on the topic of um, one that I already recorded. It's the kindergarten first, second grade version of um, underwater photography. Um, that issue focuses more on sea turtles. And then the back page just kind of introduces this photographer. So if you want to read that to really um, deepen your knowledge about this topic, that is a wonderful idea. I'm going to zoom in now and we'll read through this and we'll learn about this um, interesting photographer. Okay, I'm going to read this caption. Ready? Read with me. Photographer Daniel Botello took this picture of two divers and a great white shark. Oh, that's so good because I wondered where are their cameras? But um, these are divers and this photographer, Daniel Botello took the picture of them. Okay, and the title is Dive In. The subtitle is Meet an Underwater Photographer. Okay, let's turn in. Um, to the inside of the magazine, go ahead and look around. Okay, now I've, I've seen some of these pictures before. I haven't seen this one. I'm going to zoom in, then we'll read it together. As we read this, I'm going to be thinking to myself um, how to answer the questions. Who is this about? Um, what is he doing? Where is he doing it? Um, why does he do it and how? I might not be able to answer all of those questions, but I'm just going to use that who, what, where, 
why, when, how, those questions. I left one of them out um, before. But I'm going to use those questions to guide my thinking because I want to be paying attention to what I read. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to start up at the top left with this big title ready. Read with me. Up close. Hmm. Why do you think they call it up close? I don't know. He must get really close to these uh, underwater animals. I think he must be brave. Here's the um, photographer. The caption says, Daniel Botello gets ready for a dive. Okay, here we go. Ready? Read with me. Meet Daniel Botello. He grew up near a beach in Brazil. That's a large country in South America. It's south of where we live. As a boy, he loved diving and taking pictures of turtles. Now, Botello is an underwater photographer. He takes pictures of marine life for publications in the US and other countries. So marine has to do with the water, marine life, um, life in the ocean. And publications um, are a word for um, media. It might be print, it might be online like this. Magazines, newspapers, news websites. Um, those are examples of publications. Okay. What so can we say who this is about? Yes, Daniel Botello. Can we say what? Yeah, we know he's a photographer. Um, can we say where? We can say where he grew up. He grew up in Brazil. Can we say why he became a photographer? Mm, maybe we can say he loved diving and um, taking pictures of turtles. And can we say how? Mm -mm. Not when either, I don't think. Okay, I'm going to read this quote. There's a quotation here. That means that um, somebody is writing another's exact words. I want to show the world all kinds of beautiful fish and animals, he told Time for Kids. Here, Botello talks about four of his photographs. So why? He wants to share these beautiful fish and animals. Okay, notice this tiny text here. Now as a reader, because it's so small, you might choose, uh, I don't want to read that. But because we're doing careful school reading, we're going to read it. Okay, here we go. Ready? Read with me. Date. August. 2015. Location. Gons by South Africa. Species. Great white shark. In other words, species is um, a group of animals that have something in common. So the species is shark and there's all different kinds, right? There's great white shark, there's a tiger shark, hammerhead shark, so that's the um, type or the breed I like to think of it as. And I kind of stumbled on the um, city or country, I think city of South Africa, but that's, that's okay. If I need to, I can correct it later by looking up the pronunciation. Um, but sometimes we just do our best, right? So here we can answer all kinds of questions. Who? It's Patello. Where? South Africa. When? August 2015. Um, what? Great White Shark. So do you see how just thinking through those questions really helps me um, hone in on the details of this text? Okay, I'm going to read more information about this Great White Shark. Ready? Read with me. Close call. 
Botello enjoys swimming with great white sharks. But on this trip, he took pictures from the boat. I observed that they were on the hunt that day, he says. I needed to respect the shark's comfort zone. So a little inference here, observed means he noticed, he saw that they were on the hunt, they were feeding. Um, so that means they were hungry. Now they're hungry and so if they see a moving living thing come into their space, uh, perhaps that could make them feel threatened or scared. And so um, he chose not to get in the water with them. Still got a really good picture though, didn't he? Okay. Um, here, I think I could probably read this right here if I wanted to. Um, I can go to the top and read it, but why not? I'm gonna read this part right here, read with me. Let's read the tiny caption again. It's given us really good information. And then we'll read this section down here. Read with me. Date, June 2010. Location, San Diego, California. Species, ocean sunfish. Huh, I've never seen that before. Um, which, which photo did he take more recently? Do you know? This was 2015 and this was 2010. I'll let you answer that on your own. I'm gonna keep reading. Sea fun. It is rare to see an ocean sunfish. Rare means not common. The fish spends most of its time in deep waters. It is one of the heaviest bony fishes in the world. It is also shy. So Batello was surprised when one followed him for an hour. It was one of the best interactions of my life, he says. So an interaction, like a, a back and forth, where you're with someone and you're um, talking and doing stuff together. And I just see here the interaction, it's a noun, it's a thing. Hmm. A time when living creatures meet and communicate with each other. Well, that's good to know readers because I, I would think with the word action in it that it's a verb, but it's not, it's the, the thing of um, communicating. And then publication, I gave you some examples of that. That's also a noun. It's a book, magazine, or newspaper. Simple as that. Okay. Now let's see, let's read this caption. Date, June 2015. Location, again, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm gonna do my best. Mm Doombi, South Africa, species, common dolphin. Okay, so 2015, that was the same time as this. What do you notice about the place, the location? They're both South Africa, different ports or different cities maybe, but both at the tip of South Africa. Okay, read with me, gone fishing. Sardines gather in what is called a bait ball. They form a mass. Sometimes it protects them, but a dolphin can trap them. It releases bubbles from its blowhole. The bubbles create a net for the sardines. It was amazing to see, Botello said. Wow. So that answers the question, how? How do dolphins trap the sardines with a bubble net? Okay, last one. And again, notice that these photos are not numbered. They have dates, but there's not a number. Like I don't have to read 
the shark one first and then the sunfish, I can choose to read it um, in the order that I want to um, because he's just sharing beautiful fish and animals. Okay, so this one was July 2016. That's the most recent. The location, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Brazil is where he grew up. And this species is Portuguese man of war. I've heard of that. So that right there is the Portuguese man of war. Okay, a big risk. Read with me. When Botello saw this Portuguese man of war near his home, he ran to grab his camera. But he forgot one thing, gloves. The creature stung his hand. I was so happy to take the photo, he says. I didn't really care that I got stung. Ooh, I don't, I don't know how bad those stings can be, but that looks like a pretty big animal. So readers, before I go um, to the back, I want to um, remind you that as I read through this, I was thinking either out loud or in my head um, about answering the questions, who, what, where, why, when, how. And so one idea I had is that if you are allowed to use a camera, you could take pictures of things just in your yard or in your house, and you could do your own captions. You could do your own timestamp, location, um, and then a detail about what you took a picture of, and you could do your own publication, just for fun, just for something to do. Okay, on the back here, we have a sea turtle. So we're gonna go in depth and just read about sea turtles right now. I will zoom in. You can see that we have a diagram here. And again, um, another version of Time for Kids is all about turtles. The inside of the magazine is all about turtles, but this is still gonna go in depth and we're gonna have a little bit more detail here. Sea turtle discovery zone. Read with me. Sea turtles are ancient creatures. What does ancient mean? Very, very old. They have been around since the time of the dinosaurs. A sea turtle spends most of its life underwater, but female sea turtles lay eggs on the beach and all sea turtles must come to the ocean surface for air. Oh, readers, I didn't know that. There are seven species of sea turtles. Many of them are endangered. Habitat loss puts the reptiles at risk. So does plastic litter in the oceans. What makes sea turtles so special? Read the diagram to find out. Okay, sea turtles have a smooth shell. This makes them super swimmers. They can swim long distances. Again, does it matter what order I read them in? Nope, they're not numbered. No teeth, no problem. Sea turtles have sharp jaws. This helps them slice through food. A sea turtle's eyes are like swimming goggles. They help a turtle see clearly underwater. Some turtles can bring their legs back into their shell, but sea turtles cannot. Why do you think so? Why would it be important for sea turtles to um, have use of their legs all the time? Sea turtles have long flippers. These are shaped like paddles. The turtles use their flippers to move through the water. Sea turtles breathe air just like people. They rise out of the water to breathe air through their nostrils. Oh, 
I was thinking, oh, like people and also like um, whales, but where do whales breathe air? They use the blowhole, right? I think so. But turtles are like us and they breathe through nostrils. Very cool. Nice job reading today and um, thinking about answering the questions who, what, where, why, when, how. And hopefully you're able to make your own book um, using photographs and your writing. I'll see you next time.